Hello dear students, welcome back in your own channel Maths Mela. Now, hopefully that everybody is one good, fit, fine, healthy and happy. Everybody is what have made the mind to fight with COVID-19 and to accept COVID-19 and to live with COVID-19. Right? Because till that COVID-19 is here, we have to learn to live better. We don't have to have that much fear, but on the other hand, we should not ignore it. So whatever the guidelines are there, wash hand, keep neat and clean that we have to follow. And definitely your immunity power plays a very important role. So for that, to increase your immunity power, you have to do somewhat exercises, somewhat yoga. Okay, so with the hope that we all are doing somewhat yoga and somewhat exercises, to keep ourselves fit and fine okay so with this hope let's go ahead and let's solve the remaining part of miscellaneous exercise of chapter number two relations and functions okay so question number one to six was done in the previous video now question number seven what is question number seven let f and g are what two functions from r to r be defined respectively by f of x is equal to x plus 1 and what is g of x it is 2x minus 3 so what we have to do we have to find out f plus g f minus g and f of f by g so what we can do question number 7 what is given f of x is given as x plus 1 and f of g is given as 2x minus 3 okay the first one is what? Therefore, f plus g of x. What does it mean? f plus g of x it is what algebra of functions. We have done it already in the previous videos. So, f plus g means what? Simply it will become f of x plus g of x. So, simply what you have to do? What is your f of x given? That only you have to keep. Here, f of x is equal to what? x plus 1. Then this plus as it is. What is g of x? It is 2x minus 3. So what will happen? This will be what? f plus g of x is equal to x plus 2x will give you 3x. And then 1 minus 3 will give you minus 2. So this is what? Your f plus g of x. Now what is next? The next one they are going to find out f minus g of x. Right, f minus g of x. So again, what is f minus g of x? It is f of x minus g of x. Right. Now, according to it, what is f of x here? x plus one minus what is g of x? It is two x minus three. Since there are what two terms, that's why I am using what bracket. Okay. So it will be what x plus 1 minus 2x this minus and this minus will become 3 so your f minus of g of x will become x minus 2x is what minus x and 1 plus 3 is what plus 4 right this is what the thing now what is next it is f upon g of x the third one is what f upon g of x. This is equal to f of x divided by g of x. What it can be? f of x value is what? x plus 1. And what is g of, uh, g of x? It is 2x minus 3. This is what? The function. Okay. Now here, if it is 2x minus 3, so what will be the value of x? x will be what? 2x is equal to 3 and then x is equal to what? 3 by 2. So here x should not be equal to 3 upon 2. Okay? Because 2x is equal to 3 and then this 2. So 3 by 2. It should not be 3 by 2. If it will be 3 by 2, then the denominator will become 0 and we cannot find that answer. That is what not defined. Okay? So let's go on some number next. That is what? f of some number 8, what is given? 
f of x is given is equal to 1 comma 1 then 2 comma 3 then 0 comma minus 1 and then minus 1 minus 3 ok minus 1 minus 3 be a function from 0 to z defined by where f of x is equal to ax plus b ok for some integer then find what a and b what we have to do we have to find the value of a and b ok now here in this case it is already given that f is a function now if f is a function we know it is in the form of an ordered pair and we know that in, if it is ordered pair so first element is what from first set and second element is what from second set or in a simple way the first element is what x and the next one is what its image right means the first one is x the next one is f of x then again x f of x x f of x x f of x ok now what we can do is we will put if x is equal to 1 ok if f is equal to 1 they have given f of x is also 1 right now we have to put this value in this one means therefore f of x is equal to ax plus b which is given f of x value is what 1 is equal to a into what again 1 plus b this implies that a plus b is equal to 1 this is what your equation 1 ok now the second element where it is 2 and 3 so this is what your x and another one is what your f of x so again if x is equal to 2 your f of x will become what 3 right therefore again f of x is equal to ax plus b so what is your f of x 3 ax means what a into 2 plus b therefore here you will be getting 2a plus b is equal to 3 now from equation number 1 and 2 can you find out any one of the value yes you can therefore what we can do is equation 2 minus equation 1 that means 2a plus b is equal to 3 minus a plus b is equal to 1 because of this minus this will be minus this will be minus and even this will be minus plus b minus b cancel 2a minus 1a is what a 3 minus 1 is what 2 so what are we getting the value of a that is equal to what 2 now put this value a is equal to 2 in any of the equation suppose in here I will be ok now a plus b is equal to 1 we give you 2 plus b is equal to 1 so this implies what b is equal to what 1 minus 2 that is what minus 1 so we got a is equal to 2 and b is equal to what minus 1 that if you want to cross check with the third and fourth element that is also what fine because whenever f of x if you will keep 0 ok or x is equal to 0 your f of x need to be what minus 1 it means that a is what 2 so 2 into 0 that is what 0 right or we will check it here 0 comma minus 1 ok means x is equal to 0 so your f of x will become ax plus b x is what 0 so it will become 0 plus b and what is your b your b is equal to minus 1 which is what 2 ok and what is second for minus 1 and minus 3 ok what will be your f of x ax plus b what is your a 2 right and what is your x minus 1 then what is your b again minus 1 which is equal to minus 2 minus 1 it means minus 3 so it is coming to for all the 4 elements so this is what the sum so that is why a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1 therefore a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 1 these are what the 2 values sum number 9 
let r in relation from n to n defined as r is equal to what is given r from n to n and defined as a comma b such that a is equal to b square and belongs to what real number r or belongs to what random relation okay then r the following two if this is what the thing then we have to show that is it true that a comma a belongs to r that is a comma a belongs to r is it always let's see that is it always or no a comma a means what the first is what your first element that is what a and second is what a is equal to what second element that is what b square it means here they are asking is a is equal to a square according to the relation the first element is equal to the square of the second element here first element is a second element is what again a so second element will become a square now when it is possible in case of natural number it is only true it is only true for a is equal to zero and a is equal to one because if you will take a is equal to zero zero is equal to zero square if you will take a is equal to one one is equal to one square till here it's fine but as soon as you will take a is equal to two is it two is equal to two square no okay right is okay so it is what not true not true since 2 is not equal to or since if a is equal to 2 then implies that 2 is not equal to 2 square right now what is second that is the second is what a comma b belongs to r a comma b belongs to relation implies that b comma a also belongs to r and what is your r here your r is equal to what a is equal to b square if a is equal to b square is there then it implies that b is equal to a square is it possible again it will be possible only for the zero and one other than it is not true because again if you will if you will consider this case two is equal to two square no because it doesn't belong to me right so again it will be what true for a and b means what true only for Zero is equal to what? Zero or one? Okay. Therefore, not two. Okay, not two. And even we have seen that in uh, in order where a comma b is not equal to b comma a. Now, what is your third? Right. Again, it will be true for this only these two numbers only. If a is equal to zero and one, but that time also both the numbers should be what same. Right, that time only is possible, but never it will be. Now what is that? A comma b belongs to R. If A comma b belongs to R and B comma C belongs to R, implies that A comma C belongs to R. Means relation. Okay. Now in this case, A comma b means what? Any two element belongs to relation. Okay. Right. Then B and C again they are what a uh, member of the relation. Then is it implies that A comma C? No, it won't imply. That's why it is also not true. Okay, so none of the statement is true, right? If this condition is not there, A is equal to B square, then it may be possible. Okay, but right now it is not possible. Okay, so what is your sum number ten? Sum number ten is going to be here. Sum number ten a is equal to what two b four. What is your b? B is equal to one five nine eleven. One five nine eleven. And then what? Fifteen, sixteen. 
Where what they are doing? And function is also given. Function is one comma five. The two comma nine. Two comma nine. Three comma two. Four comma five. And again two comma eleven. Okay. Now again, R the following two number of f is a relation from two or four. The first one is what? F is a relation. F is a relation from A to B. F is a relation from A to B. If we will find out F means what this one. We will take a cross product of this one. Okay, that is what a to b. Okay, we will find that that it is a subset of. Okay, here f means this all. Okay, is a subset a cross b. And you know that every subset is a relation. Okay. And subset is a relation. Therefore, what you can say? Therefore, the first statement that is F is what? Yes, it is true. Or directly you can write down it is true. What is second? The second one is F is a function from A to B. We have to check that verify that is it function or no. If you will see one five, okay. Then two nine. This is also fine. Then three comma two. Where it is three comma two. Now two is not there in B. Okay. This is what one problem. And the second one is what four comma five. Okay. Four and five. Four and five is also there. Fine. And two comma eleven. This one again is two comma nine and two comma eleven. Two comma eleven is what here. Right. So if you can see that two comma eleven is what it is related. Is that the element two is are what two different elements, two different images. That is nine also and eleven also. So if one element is are what two different images, that time it is what not a function. Why? Since element two or two belongs to A as two. Different images, right? Two different images are there for one element. That's why it will be a function. So your statement number two is what? It's a false. Sub number eleven. Let F be the subset of Z cross Z defined by. How it is defined? F is equal to A B. And a plus b. When your x is a b, then your f of x will be what? A plus b. Such that a comma b belongs to Z. Okay? Is a function. Is f a function? Okay? Is this f? Okay? A function from Z to Z. We have to see that is it a function or no. If it is yes, then we have to write the reason. If it is no, then also we have to give the reason. Now suppose if these two are what the elements, so we'll take some of the element and we'll cross check it. Okay. Now for a is equal to zero and let b is equal to one, we'll check it out. Is it true or no? So here a b will become zero into one. That is what zero. Okay, and your a plus b will become zero plus one. That is what one. Okay, in that case, your ordered pair a comma b and a plus b will become zero comma one. Okay, so for first thing it is yes. Okay, now let one more example for. A is equal to zero and B is equal to one. To the second element we are checking. Now your A B will become zero into two. Is equal to again what? Zero. 
and here a plus b that is f of x will become 0 plus 2 is equal to what? 2. Therefore, your elements, second element will become 0, 2. Now, what we are getting? x0, x0. f of x is what? 1. And f of x is what? 2. Means what? For one element, there are what? Two different elements. And if such kind of situation is there, for one element, can one element have the two different images? No. Okay. Therefore, here, for one element, that is what? 0. Okay. There are two images or two different images. What are those two different images? One is 1 and second is what? 2. Therefore, what? F is not a function. Okay. So, we have explained also why f is not a function. Now, sub number 12. Let a is equal to 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and let f is a function from a to n. Which n is what natural number we define as? We define by f of x is equal to the highest prime factor of n. n means what? From this only you will be taking any number. And f of x will be what? Your highest prime factor of that number only. Find the range. Now, how we, will you find out the range? You need to first find out the ordered pair. Now, let's go through it. So, what is sum number 12? It is given a is equal to what? 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. Okay? And f of x is equal to what? Highest prime factor of what? of n ok so what will happen? so therefore f is equal to your first element is what? 9 so if you are taking 9 so what is highest prime factor of 9? that is 3 prime factor we are taking not 9 9 is not from because 9 is for prime number now second one if you will take 10 then what will happen? the highest prime factor of 10 that is 2 5 so it means what? 5. Then you will take 11. Now for 11, what is the factor? 1 and 11. So the highest is what? 11 only. If you will take 12, then it is what? 2, 6 za, but 6 is not right. 3, 4 za. 4, 3 za. It means the highest factor is what? 3. Right? And after that what? The last number that is what 13. So for 13, what is highest factor of 13? It is again 13 itself. So what is range? Range of f is equal to okay range of this f is separate. Range of f means what? It is the set of all the second element of the ordered pair. Okay. So what are the second element? 3, 5, 11. 3 and 30. Okay? Means what? 3, 5, 11 and 30. These are what the four elements. Here what? 3 and 3. These are what? Same images. But their pre images are different. Okay? 9 and 12. They both are not different. So it is what function? Because two elements can have the same image. But one element cannot have the two different image. Okay, so here is what the end of the miscellaneous exercise of chapter number 2 relations and function and happily we have ended the chapter second that is what functions and relation very soon in the next video at your own channel Maths Mela and Dignity we will be starting the introduction part of chapter number 3 that is what trigonometric ratios, trigonometric identities. Okay. So, let's wait for the another video at your own channel that is what Maths Mela. Till that time, keep safe, keep happy and be at home and complete your notebooks. Thank you.